Have you ever wondered who the real father of chemistry was? Most people think of Antoine Lavoisier. But nearly a thousand years earlier, a Muslim scholar named Jabir ibn Hayyan, known in Europe as Geber, was already experimenting with acids, metals, and chemical compounds. Born in the 8th century under the Abbasid Caliphate, Jabir's identity is still mysterious. Some say he was one man, others believe Jabir ibn Hayyan was actually a group of scholars. What makes him so important? Jabir introduced one of the first classifications of substances, describing metals, salts, and acids in detail. He even explained how to make sal ammoniac from plants and blood, a huge step for experimental chemistry. He also proposed the sulfur-mercury theory of metals, the idea that all metals formed from these two elements, with perfect balance creating gold. While incorrect by today's science, it inspired centuries of experimentation and European alchemists chasing gold. Jabir's writings, hundreds of books on chemistry, medicine, astronomy, and philosophy, later spread into Europe, shaping the Renaissance and influencing modern science. So was Jabir ibn Hayyan a single genius or a legendary movement of scholars? Maybe we'll never know. But one thing is certain, without him the story of chemistry would be incomplete. If you found this fascinating, hit like, subscribe to Reframed Muslim, and tell me in the comments, do you think Jabir was real or just a legend?